James Banks here for Definitive Esports. I'm here with the people that have set up the Ministry of Win. Now you've probably heard about this, it's been talked about a lot at the moment. Um, it's a new gaming house in Poland, a European house, and it has got players like Cytoplasm there and Snoot, and I'm sure there's going to be even more players and it looks very good. So I'm just going to introduce the guys and they're going to tell you a bit about it. So. Let's start with you. Let everyone know who you are and what so you're guys, doing. Uh, I'm the Oliver Steikov uh, from Ministry of Win. I'm the brand manager of, of this project. So uh, I'm like one of the core staff from, from our project. And we have, we have invented with Maciej uh, the whole thing. Yeah. And that, that's about me. Yeah. And yourself? Hi, I'm Maciej Krupowicz. I'm the project manager. Um, as Oliver said, we both invented this gaming house, um, besides of us. Uh, and the core of the team is also Lucina Varda and Boris Paul. Okay. Uh, they are not here, unfortunately, because Boris has a lot of things to do yeah. and Lucina has broken her leg, so... Oh, oh no! Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah oh no. <laughs> yeah, get well, Lucina. Um, yeah, that's all about it. So, looking at gaming houses, uh, Sweden, with good internet connection, some people would say maybe we'd start up there. Um, you are both Polish, but why did you choose Poland as the... Was it just because it was your hometown? Not really. I think Poland is the cheapest country in Europe. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, and um, it's like the heart of Europe. Mm. You can fly it, uh, easily to another country. It's like uh, everything is close to it's Poland. It's the center of Europe, so, so it's like close to, to every event, like DreamHack, uh, for example, as we are sitting now, uh, and other stuff to do. Actually, we wanted to do something for Polish community. Mm. That's the most important thing. Well, um, go through like some of the ideas and the thoughts of when you were planning this, because this is not an easy project to do, and um, you guys have seemed to do it really well. We've got the, the we've seen the leaflets, we've seen some of the pictures, and the players there. We spoke to Cytoplasm and Snoot, and both of them said it's great, and they're really happy. Well, yeah, we prepared to make. Um, the best place for living and training. We were setting it up like from December. Some Polish press that visited us visit uh, said like it's impossible, it's impossible to do something <laughs> like this in five months but yeah this is what we have done. But you've done it so in impossible is nothing for you guys really. Well, it's just mostly about the hard work like uh, like we it, it's just our heart placed in this project because we were sleeping for the last five five months like three four hours uh, per whole day so yeah. so it, it was a real really hard time for us and yeah so um what what's it the cry possible. yeah no yeah it's, it, <laughs> it's it's possible and you guys have done it and the players that we've spoke to seem very happy um how did you choose the players that were coming into the house because obviously there's going to be a lot of players that want to join um what's the criteria for joining Mm. I think the most important thing is potential in the player. Mm -hmm. We can see it like how long is he playing, what he achieved so far and um, there is a lot of things. It's not about hey I'm Grandmaster top 10 and yeah. choose me because I'm the best. Nah, yeah. It's like every player needs to have potential. It's like Snoot has a really big potential and I think he will be one of the best players in the world like one year. I mean, the players also uh, have to need like uh, amb ambitions because yeah. uh, they're they're like focusing on achieve something, something high. So so that's the main criteria for for our project. We want people to like uh, do their best. We don't want to uh, this project to be treated f uh, f by people like it's a vacation or something. Yeah. It's just a hard practicing training and you know serious business. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, it looks it looks like vacation because uh, awesome conditions, yeah. cook, driver, and stuff. But yeah, besides of this, very hard work is welcome here. So, do you guys have like a coach who helps the players? Because um, obviously in Korea they have uh, two coaches and uh, managers and stuff like that, and a maid. Uh, what kind of services do you guys have for the players? Um, for now, there is Matis. He's not that known to stroke of to scene, but. He was one of the best players of Command and Conquer, so oh, okay. uh, he has, yeah, he's like, like uh, maybe his mechanic isn't that good, but um, his strategic uh, thinking is very awesome. Yeah, yeah and the second coach um, we we're talking with, okay, we can say it like right now, yeah. it's Draco. Oh yeah, yeah, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, people were waiting for this, like, oh, where yeah, is Draco? Uh, where is Draco? So we are just like still negotiating with mm -hmm. him, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe not, uh, but we'll see. And like next few weeks, yeah. he visited us. Like 
he visited us like uh, two weeks ago and he was very impressed like this is one of the best thing he ever saw so but mostly what he said uh, uh, when he's like uh, getting some project mm. he want to give 100 yeah. percent like his um, motivations in, in in the project he he don't want to like uh, work at two projects and give 50 uh, percent yeah yeah so well, of his he wants to give his full energy basically yeah. too and this is a project that's going to need that that full energy from all of you guys now um the schedule what kind of schedule because in korea they have a whole list of wake up at this time breakfast practice from this time maybe work out or something like that uh, what's the schedule like for the players uh, so the schedule is like uh, wake up time at eight. Mm -hmm. uh, they have like one hour to uh, shower up and, and stuff, yeah. and to make the the room clear uh, and, and and other stuff like uh, by the, by themselves. Yep. And then just a breakfast at nine to nine thirty. Uh, then it's just a uh, hard training, mm -hmm. analyzing with coach and 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 other core stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, then it's just a. Uh, at two o'clock uh, lunch, yeah. the for another thirty minutes, and there is a break for one one hour, one and one and a half, uh, and they have like time for workout, for for relaxing uh, time because you know like ten hours per day or twelve hours per day, it's like uh, it's like impossible. It's mm -hmm. it's really exhausting. So after uh, six and six and a half, uh, four four and a half, sorry, uh, they are like supposed to train mm -hmm. to to the dinner to seven o'clock yep. and then from 7 30 to uh, late night they are really practicing the main thing is like they're playing to like dance mm -hmm. but they can play much more like play some tournaments and stuff and a nice thing is like mm, we created two blocks of training like theoretical like analysis and stuff and practicing practicing a lot but that's why uh, cytoplasm didn't say anything about that because it's something new to esports yeah. i think because we wanted this training facility to like um, push it to the limits, like really training yeah. facility, like bringing NLP practice, like some psychologists help, like oh, motivating okay. the yeah. players. It's something new, brand new to esports. I think, um, uh, especially for a game like StarCraft, psychology can really help because yeah. there is so much mental game on it as well. Um, so what made you bring in a psychologist? Because I don't even really know many Korean teams that would have done that yet. I think like, uh, a lot of professional athletes mm -hmm. uh, needs those help, this help because, yeah, they man their mindset is clear before some tournaments and stuff. And I think mm, stress and stuff is really keeping players like mm, above their level. Yeah. So um, you said about the psychology. What about some media training? Because obviously in StarCraft, especially with all the sponsors, it's for, they need to be able to promote the brands and be good in front of a camera, like you, t you two doing very well in this interview now. But um, do you offer some sort of media training to the players at all? Mm, we wanted to we wanted to bring this to the players because we also want to promote players, yeah. promote their streams, um, and help them getting uh, like uh, viewers and stuff. Because it's like you know, uh, if you play like very hard rock yeah. then a lot of people want like the stream and stuff so mm -hmm. we wanted to help them how to improve what to say on stream uh, it's not done yet we are not doing this yet but we are going to do this very soon so um have you got any players already who have signed up and you're waiting to come to the house that you can talk about now uh yeah uh, definitely it's uh, destiny now oh, wow. yeah so we are waiting for arrival of destiny yeah. uh then it's a rescue the He's not known yet, but he's he has a talent, I think. So he's like, like 17 years potential. old. Yeah, yeah, potential. 17 years old, he was beating a lot of good players on uh, North American ladder because okay. he's from the uh, United States. Yep. He beat them many times, like um, Destiny and stuff. We saw the replays and I think he's good. Also, the song is uh, it will be arriving uh, at the end of the month. Yep. Uh, let me think, because it's like really so hard much, to yeah. find. Yeah, so much players that it's it's really hard to focus. Um, who was there? Magic, do you remember? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> but you were like uh, with the that. most known person <laughs> is of course Destiny and Song. Song was playing for uh, MTW yeah. for a long time. I think he's not in uh, MTW anymore, yeah. but I'm not sure. And um, there are some players like. Mm, some grandmaster level but they're not known yet and 
We want to promote them yeah. and I think they're talented enough to join us. And But in a new time, we want to aim only on uh, top level players. Mm. But that's good because new talent needs nurturing, so this is going to be very good as well. Um, are you guys worried about maybe players conflicting in um, their attitudes? So, say Destiny, he's quite a... Uh Everyone, everyone knows his antics and what he does. Um, are you guys going to try rein him in on that, or are you going to keep an eye on maybe the players not getting on well with each other? Um, well, Destiny is a very good player, but like we can't make exceptions to the rules. Like everything, uh, everyone will be sticking to the rules. Like there is no uh, way to behave like uh, you know rage only and yeah. stuff. Uh, we had some players like this. We had two players uh, in the house, which are like. Uh, angry, in detail, angry <laughs> get, getting angry, and but yeah, we are um, working on that. So, um, where can people get in contact with you? We'll just do a final summary and anything you want to say to promote the rest of the house, really. Uh, <laughs> to promote the house, uh, just follow us at our fan page uh, at Ministry of Win uh, at Facebook, at uh, Twitter also. Uh, it's it's really like simple because it's just a Ministry of Win, yep. uh, and uh, of course at our main site because it's still uh, in work. Yep. But uh, we're we are trying to get it online as as fast as, as soon as it's possible. Yeah, I think that's all. Thanks to the community for like. Um, and thanks also Motivating to the sponsors. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The, the, the link. Uh, <laughs> and the razor, of course. So some good sponsors already and um, good luck with it all. It's an amazing project and I think the community will support you. And um, hopefully we'll get out soon and we'll come have a little visit. <laughs> yeah, of course. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you very much and thank you for this interview. Thanks.